Today we're talking about why you need an FAQ page on your website with some real examples here on The Journey. So the website, coming along nicely. You got the basics down. Yeah. Got your contact button, your about us page, you know, you got your home page. But what is often overlooked on a website is your FAQ page. Frequently asked questions. This is your help, this is your support. Not to mention it could save your customer a lot of time and they don't have to call you. Yeah, so talk us through like what really is an FAQ page and like what is the real purpose behind having one? Yeah, so FAQ page, frequently asked questions. So for example, and I love this because I always have questions about, can I refund this? How long would it take? Anything that's commonly asked, you know this, you have this data from your customers and have that right there on your website. And this is different than an about page because about is gonna go into like your story and your bio, why okay. you started, how long you've been in business, et cetera. All right, so we're understanding a bit of the differences between the FAQ page and the about page, but why, why should a small business owner, like those watching this, why do they really need an FAQ page? You're putting the consumer first was is an extension of your customer service. And think about it because I know when I have a lot of questions, the last thing I wanna do is start searching all around the internet to figure out the answer to it. So by having that there, you're putting an effort into the consumer. Also back to like going all around the internet, you don't want them to go to your website and then leave your website. Right. Then they're back in a search engine and Googling here and yelping there. You want to have them stay on that website for a longer amount of time. So provide them with the answers to their questions there. Let's talk about why this is really important for those everyday entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. To build trust with your consumer. If this is an extension of your customer service, you're taking the consumer's needs and mm. you're putting extra effort into the consumer by going ahead and providing answers to these pain points, these specific questions that they have and you get asked from time and time again. Right, and now I, I know if, if I'm searching on a website, I can't find what I'm looking for, and I have to go uh -oh. out and search somewhere else to try to find the answer. The He's chances, gone. yeah, <laughs> the chances of me back. coming back are slim. The chances of a regular person going to your site and not getting the information they're looking for is slim. So you do want to reduce those barriers. That's preventing them from getting information to get, taking that next step, whether it's to book at the hotel or buy your product or submit a contact form, whatever that is, mm -hmm. have all the information there readily accessible on that FAQ page. It just gets them one step further to buy from you. Another reason why you want an FAQ page, improve mm -hmm. SEO search engine optimization, because think about it, the words that you're using, those frequently asked questions, mm -hmm. the little snippets are gonna come up when other potential customers are searching for a hotel like yours or a business like yours. So it can help you come up on those search ranks, which right. I get asked about all the time. Everyone wants to know, how do I get higher up on a Google there? search? And now if you're answering the questions that they're asking on search engines, the chances of your site popping up are so much better. And now that's not all that having an FAQ page does. It also lets you provide an extension of your brand's voice. Now, whether your, your brand's voice is like happy and jovial or sarcastic and sassy, you can extend that through your FAQ page and really show your personality to your audience. Yeah, actually that reminds me, have you ever seen the FAQ page for Cards Against Humanity? I haven't actually. Okay, let's check it out. So uh, they do a fantastic job of staying true to their personality. <laughs> your dumb questions. Yeah, starting off with, uh, Yep. all right, so here's your dumb questions. Um, and they go into about this store, and I love the way they start this off, like, what's the deal with this store? And they go into it about how, you know, we made it ourselves so that we could cut out all of the middlemen between us and you. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> Is it safe to put my credit card number into this mysterious website? And they reply, probably <laughs> right like this this is their brand's voice it's it's sarcastic it's crass and now this likely isn't your business but you want to put your personality and your brand's voice in your faq page so why else would you want an faq page reduce the stress on your customer service department right let them shine for those like unusual questions and ask from your customers. Whereas you can save them the time, save their inboxes, save their phone queues a little bit by 
answering these common questions that people have. Yeah, so we do this all the time at GoDaddy. Like we have our version of FAQ page, which is our help center. And it essentially has a library of articles that answer mm -hmm. our customers most commonly asked questions. Like how do I reset a password? How do I access my hosting? How do I install WordPress? How do I do this or that to help them self-service to where if they want to call, great, we're there for them. But if they don't just want to take care of themselves, they can just use that help article and go about their day. And this empowers the customer, right? It's empowering them to do this on their own. They're going to love that yep. and it could save them time. So you're probably asking yourself at home, how do I write an FAQ page? Well, there's three easy steps, starting with <laughs> first identify the frequently asked questions. So pay attention to that. I know, for example, at Coffee and Kickflips, we're not gonna have the questions like, hey, who's that awesome lady making the latte art back there? Not a good question to put on your website. It's a pretty solid question, actually. But no, you're gonna probably gonna have like, when are you open? What, how many different types of coffee do you have? Ooh, what do alternative? I need a helmet? Do you need a helmet? Oh, true, because of the skate ramps yeah, in the yeah. back. Almost forgot about those. <laughs> I was like, why do people need a helmet when they're drinking the coffee? The coffee gets real intense. Too much espresso. <laughs> start bouncing off the walls. <laughs> but start thinking of all the questions that you constantly get asked all the time about and add them to your website. And now your, your employees or you're not answering those questions constantly because they're getting them already. And now they're looking to just buy your coffee from you or mm -hmm. they'll shred in the back. Yeah, or they might wanna know another one we get asked all the time at Coffee and Kick Clips. Do you have alternative milks? Well, yes, we do. Oat milk, almond milk, soy milk. Important, frequently asked questions. So that's step one. Step two, identify the answers. Can't just have questions hanging out there, right? So identify just a the bunch of questions on your site. Like, these are our frequent questions. We can questions. relate to you. These we don't have the answers, but this is what you ask us a lot. Figure it out. And then the third easy step: organize the FAQ page by the most frequently asked questions, the most important ones yep. first. So whatever that is for your business, maybe that's shipping questions or refunds and returns. You know what it is, but order that. Prioritize. Yeah, and I would probably make your most important the first couple ones and then the last couple ones. The ones in the middle are, are sandwiched and they're probably skimmed a lot. Mm. So whatever you really want people to know, the top and the bottom there. All right, that's a wrap. You just learned why you need an FAQ page. Be sure to comment below, ask us a question, and like this video. And hey, subscribe to our channel and ring that bell so these episodes first. This is The Journey. See you next time. <laughs>